see a vigorous debate during this afternoon's special meeting. Alderwoman Dever Silberstein, the only Jewish member, is getting pushback on her resolution. She says the need for the council to stand with Israel is obvious, but some aldermen argue it is not that simple and the situation is more nuanced than what the current version of the resolution expresses. Silverstein's far north side ward, the 50th, includes Rogers Park, which has a large Jewish population. She had hoped to get her Israeli solidarity resolution to the council floor during Wednesday's meeting. There were loud outbursts from the gallery from people who opposed it. Some aldermen pushed to allow only virtual public comments, citing safety concerns. But Mayor Brandon Johnson denied that request, citing the Open Meetings Act. The resolution is the only thing on the agenda for today's council session. Rosanna Rodriguez Sanchez, who represents the 33rd Ward, wants to add language to the resolution so it also recognizes injustices against Palestinians. She tweets, she won't attend today's meeting because she'll be at a school safety conference in Milwaukee. I will participate remotely if my colleagues allow me to. I hope my colleagues understand what it means to stand with Israel's right-wing government as they bomb civilians in Gaza. Mayor Johnson's council floor leader, 35th Ward Alderman Carlos Ramirez Rosa, expressed Palestinian support. He posts, Democrats' sympathies in the Middle East now lie more with the Palestinians than the Israelis, 49 percent versus 38 percent, citing a Gallup poll. After Wednesday's meeting, the mayor would not say whether he thinks the current resolution should be amended. Johnson may talk about the situation in Israel when he addresses the Council of Religious Leaders of Metropolitan Chicago about 30 minutes from now. Back to you.